everybody. Happy Wednesday. Laura here for your Active Fit. Today, what we're going to use is a light set of dumbbells. I have my thin light resistance band. I have my mini band. I have a chair and a mat. And we'll be doing some different exercises. I'll give you alternatives and you find what works for you. Today is gonna to be a little bit hotter outside. I wanna make sure everyone's drinking their water. Make sure you're taking care, stay hydrated, stay active. We're gonna just start warming up. I'm gonna bring the arms up and down. Bring the arms up and down. Try and lengthen each time a little bit further out. Let's do two more. Big reach, one more. Good, I'm gonna connect my hands and I'm gonna let my body just fall to the left. And to the right. Back to center, to the left. And to the right. I'm gonna now Reach forward, bring it back up, reaching forward. Let's do this three more times. Lengthen, stretch out the hamstrings. Two more. One more. Good. Hands on your hips, and we're gonna do some circles. Nice, easy circles. We're gonna go five one way and five the other. Just little easy ways to loosen up. And switch direction. Keep going, give me three more. I'm just gonna turn this down slightly. Shrugging up, pulling back, dropping them down, and forward. Control that movement going back. Let's go forward now, rolling it forward. Open the chest. Great job. Just waking up the body. Good. We're going to go down slow to your knees. From your knees. You're gonna hang down, back to your knees. We're just gonna go 10 times here. So 10, nine, eight, little bend in my knees, keeping them soft. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna hang down on this one now. And if you can, you're gonna drop your bottom down and we're gonna come back up. If you cannot do that, you're gonna put your hands on your knees and you're just gonna do a few little deep squats. But we're gonna go dropping it down, bringing it up, getting that nice deep hip opener. We're just gonna do this two more times. One more. Great job. We're going to that 90-90 hold where I'm gonna have my knee up 
Got 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here. Barefoot today because I want to show you some yoga toe exercises. We're going to hold it here. 20 seconds. Let's go. Hold on to something. This doesn't have to be balanced. This is strength now. Abs engage. Don't let the toe drop. Don't let the knee drop. I'm watching you. No, I'm just kidding. Keep that knee up. Let's go. Stay nice and centered. Five seconds. I'm going to switch. Keep it up. Keep it up. Good. Switch legs. 20 seconds. Let's see it. Abs pulled in. Knees up. Toes up. Hold it. 10 seconds to go. Great for those hip flexors. Great for the quads. Great for interior tibialis. Just work out the front side muscles. Let's go. One more time. We're going to switch back to the left. Toe up. Ready? 20 seconds. Holding it. And I want you working on this, building up to holding it longer and longer. See, I'm nice and straight. I'm not leaning to the side. Almost there. Switch. Right legs back up, knees up, toes up. Hold it. Great job. If you're seated, you could just be holding that knee up. Try and get the toe up. Excellent. And relax. We're going to grab that band. And you can use a towel. You can use a belt. So take a second if you have to go get something to use. We're going to do our pass-throughs. Behind our body and in front. Nice wide arms. Do not, I don't want to see anyone having their shoulders shimmying, okay? It's a nice clean pass-through. If it's not straight, and easy, don't do it. If your shoulders bother you, don't do it. Good, let's go. Three more. Three, two, and one. I'm gonna hold the band at my chest. I'm gonna take this here. I'm gonna have my thumb up. I'm going right into my rotator cuff. So if you have one with a handle, you'd hold the handle and grip the rest Right in here, we're going to your rotator. We're going 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And I'm going to switch. We're going to do a top to bottom band work today. Let's go in 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, if you have a dumbbell, you can do this with a dumbbell too. Four, three, two, and one. I'm going to have you now stand on your band. We're going to have our feet a little bit past shoulder width. We're going to do our bent row. So I'm going to turn so you can see me a little better. Abs engage. We're not dropping our hips. Back is straight. Neck is straight. I'm looking to the front, about three feet in front of me. And I'm going to pull, squeeze my shoulder blades together, and down. Let's go 10 times. 10, 9, 8, 7. Keep those abs in. 6, 5. Squeeze the shoulders. 4, 3, 2, and one. Down, coming up nice and slow. We're going to do a squat now. So you're going to grab your band even a little bit lower. And from here, we're going to get our chest open. We're going to squat down. And we're going to come up, squeeze that tush. Abs engaged. Ready? Back down. Up and squeeze. You could do this without the band. You could be in a chair and just... <laughs> if you're in a chair, you can do a half one. Let's see it. Ten. So I was about eight. Let's see. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Go 
as low as you can comfortably. Three, two, and one. Coming down, release it. What I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna use my chair. I'm putting the ball of my foot on the band. Make sure it's not on your toes so it doesn't flip you in the face. I have my leg out just slightly in front of me. I'm gonna press down like a gas pedal. Pressing down. I'm strengthening my ankles, my calves. Good. Bottom of my foot. Let's see it, 10 each side. Small movement, big results. Four, three, two, one. Bring it in. These are small movements that really benefit. And we're trying to do a lot of self-care at this time, right? Okay, I'm here. I have a band on the inside. Bring it to, you know, wherever you're comfortable, your hips, your waist, and press down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Control that movement. Five, four, three, two, one more. Great, we're gonna stand back up if you can and we're going back to those pass-throughs. We're going 10, nine, eight, seven, six, nice and smooth, five. You can always just go overhead. You can always stop here and come back down. Four, three, two, one more. Excellent. Rotator cuff again. We're here. We're going 10. I'm going to make it a little harder. Nine. Elbows in. Eight. Seven. Six. See that 90 degree angle? Five. Four. Keep it up. Three. Two. And one, switching sides. All right, 10, nine, eight, seven. So you can see it's a small movement. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, we got those bent rows again. So we're putting our feet nice and wide on the band. Remember, we always talk about we gotta check our bands before we use them. So remember, before classes, I want you checking your bands. All right, bent row. Abs engaged, neck relaxed, nice and neutral. Let's pull, 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Full range, five. Squeeze those shoulders, four. Three, two, one. Nice job. We're going to go into that squat now. So I'm going to grab a little bit lower. And we're going to go up. Ten, nine, eight. Squeeze that, tuck that tushin. Seven, six, five, four. Imagine you're picking up suitcases. Three. Two, and one. Nice job. Coming down, release your feet. We're gonna grab our dumbbells next. And for our next exercise, we're gonna do a single leg deadlift to a bent row. So we did this last week where we were here, we did our deadlifts with one leg. You can certainly do both legs so it's gonna, if I did one leg to a bent row, it's gonna look like this. Pull, down, and up. If you did both legs, down, pull, down, up. If you're seated, which is certainly you can be, you're gonna be here and retracting. All three times, those abs are engaged, support your lower back. If you're gonna do one leg, we're gonna do five each leg and then switch. If you're doing both legs, 
here, you're going to do 10. Okay, ready? And we're going down. One. Two. Three. Great job. Look straight on. Four. Five. I'm switching legs. Let's see it. Down. Six. Seven. Eight. Remember that back stays nice and straight. Nine. One more. And up. Great job. From here, we're going to do a little squat and we're going to do lateral raise. So front in front of you and bring it up. Let's go. Ready? Ten. Nine. Bend those knees just slightly. Eight. Abs in. Seven. Six. Five. Control it up and down. Four. Three. Two. And one. We're going to go into a narrow squat and we're going to do our curls. So the narrow squat, if the balance allows you, you'll have your feet closer together and you're just going to squat down a little bit and we're just going to curl here. Again, all of this can be done seated. Ready? Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, make those abs engage. Four, pull them in. Three, two, one. Take a moment, put the dumbbells down. We're gonna do elbow to knee for 30 seconds. Just to open up our back. A little active recovery. Let's see it. 20 seconds. It's important when you're doing especially lower back exercises that we give it a break in between. Good. Big twist. Almost there. If you're seated, you're just bringing it. You're just twisting seated. Three, two, one more. Great job. Grab those dumbbells again. We're going back to that single leg deadlift, or both legs, or you're seated. I'm starting with my right leg for five. Ready? Five. Four. Three. Two. Make sure those shoulder blades are pinching together. One. Going to my left leg for another five. This is going to be number six. Seven, eight, keep it up, nine, ten, great job guys, going a feet a little bit wider, going to a little squat, I have my feet a little angled out this time, let's go lateral raise, ready, ten, nine, Abs in, eight, tuck that tailbone in, seven, six, five, four, great job, three, keep moving, two, one, nice and easy together. Got that narrow squat again, so I'm gonna bring my hands to get my feet together. Little bend, and we're curling. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, control it, 2, and 1. Great job. Dumbbells go down. We're doing those elbows to knees again for 20 seconds. Let's see it. Try and lift it up as much as you can, get a little oblique workout, 
Get your core warmed up a little bit more. We're gonna use the mini bands next. So if you have one, great. If you don't, you're gonna follow the movement without it. Let's see it, twist. Three, two, and one. Fantastic. So I'm gonna put action, I'm gonna put those on the ground. I'm gonna grab my mini band. We're gonna do some mini band work. Then my attempt of yoga toes. Back to mini band. So I have it about three, four inches above my ankle. And I'm using a five foot mat to show you my distance. Squatting down, little bend. Feet stay straight, knees stay straight. Step and keep that space in between. Good, and back. I'm not squatting up and down. I'm staying at one level. I'm gonna keep going. Lateral minivan step. If you don't have a band, you would just be doing a little squat side step. Working those adductors, working your glutes, protecting those hips. Let's go. Keep it up. Let's do one more. Taking about four to five steps each way. Hips are parallel to the floor. Knees and toes are straight. I'm gonna make sure I'm by my seat. I'm gonna take a seat. Yoga toes is when you bring your big toe up and the other toes stay down. Then you bring your big toe down and the other toes come up. And it is incredibly awkward, but it's a great exercise, really protects the bottom of your foot. So we're gonna try and do 10 times lift the big toe. If you have sneakers on, it's gonna be a little bit trickier, but I want you to just practice the idea. So big toe comes up, and the rest. Big toe, the rest. I'll say my feet are cramping from a long walk, so my other toes don't want to pick up as much. But that's okay, because just me putting the demand through my brain to my toes is a benefit. Let's go three, two, and one more. Great job, we're standing back up if you can. And we're gonna go forward and back. So again, I'm using my mat as a guard where I'm gonna go. Little bend, little steps forward. Heel to toe forward, and toe to heels back. I'm not letting my feet come in close to each other. I wanna keep them apart. Good, back forward. Heel to toe, small steps, abs still engage, and toe to heel back, toe to heel. Good, one more time forward. Heel to toe, keep my hips from swinging as much as I can. And toe to heel back. Toe to heel, keep those legs apart. Excellent, take a seat. We're going to slip our band. We're all gonna do this one more round. But for now, I slipped it down on my feet. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my right leg out a little bit further. That's gonna be my anchor for resistance. I'm gonna take my left foot and pull it up and down. So I'm just, my heel is on the ground. I'm picking up my toe, I'm putting it down. Up and down. I'm gonna slice a little bit more under the ball of my foot. Up and down. Excellent for strengthening your ankles, your anterior tibialis, the bottom of your foot. Take care of yourself, right, with these little movements. Two and one. We're gonna switch. Now my left leg's going out, my right leg is straight in line with my hip. I'm gonna make sure this is at the ball of my foot. And I'm gonna lift it up 10 times. 10, nine, eight, seven. Keep it straight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Mini band goes back on. Back to that side step. So take a second, get comfortable, make sure your band's on. When you're ready, we're here again. Ready, step, step. 
Not letting the ankles crash into each other. Knees straight, toes straight. Good. By focusing on my knees and feet being straight, I'm not allowing my hips to turn inward, which would compensate my lower back. Good, let's go one more. Great job, guys. Slow and controlled. Excellent. Take a seat. Yoga toes again. Big toe up, then the other ones. 10 times. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job, we're gonna go forward and back again. Anytime you need a break, you take it. All right, we're going forward. Little steps forward, good. And back, toe to heel. Toe to heel. Back forward, abs engage. Heel to toe, toe to heel, going back. Heel to toe forward, placing my foot nice and quietly down. And back, toe to heel back, toe to heel back. Great job, we're gonna take a seat. And we're gonna go back, keeping it on the balls of my feet. I'm gonna take my right leg out to the side. My left leg is nice and straight, my toes nice and straight. Picking it up 10 times. 10, nine, eight, don't let that toe turn in. Seven, six, five. If you don't fight your toe to stay straight, you need more, you need your leg out further. Let's go. Two, one, X. With the right amount of resistance, you'll feel this in fatigue pretty quickly. If it seems too easy, put that foot out a little bit further or you can stand on it and make it a little bit tighter. Right leg going up in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job. I'm gonna get rid of the mini band now. Bye mini band. So we're gonna do a few cat cows to release our back. And I'm gonna use cat cows and mountain climbers. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like with a chair to help. For the cat cow, your hands are underneath your shoulders, your feet are underneath your hips. You're gonna arch up for your cat, big inhale. Even if you wanna go on your toes, you can kinda of go on the toes. And then exhale. Lift your head, drop your back, knees are bent slightly. So inhale, really arch up and exhale. And then from the next movement, what we're gonna do is do mountain climbers. Just make sure you're using a chair that will not go anywhere. So I'm gonna go on the floor for me. So I'm gonna do my cat cows. We're gonna go five, inhale, and exhale. Four, three, up, 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 arch. Two, one more. Great, now we're gonna do 10 mountain climbers, five on each side. So I'm gonna go up into a push-up position and we're going 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Control it, five, four, three, two, one. Good, I'm going back to my cat cow. I get red, the minute my face faces the ground, I get red. Let's see those cat cows. Inhale, exhale, five, four, drop that back, lift it up, three, two, one more, 10 mountain climbers, we're up, we're going 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one. Nice job. Come down. A little stretch back. And we're going to stand up nice and slow. And we're going to grab our red band. So we're going to do our rows standing now. I'm going to hook it around. And because if I pulled this, this chair would move, I am putting one foot up. You could use a banister at home on a stairwell, a very firm, heavy piece of furniture. Or if you have someone home, you guys can partner and one can hold it out of their stomach, like so, and let the other one row. Now you take turns. We're gonna go here. I have one foot up because I trust my balance. I'm gonna make sure the wrist is tight. I'm gonna keep the knee that I'm standing on soft. And now I'm gonna pull, retract, and bring it forward. Inhale and exhale. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and down. I'm gonna go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, shoulders down, five, Squeeze your shoulder blades, four, three, two, and one. Take a break, I'm switching my feet because I'm gonna go to my Y's next. I wanna work my upper back and my shoulder blades. So I'm gonna hold the band a little bit looser this time and I'm going up to a Y. So when I go up, I'm coming here, nice and straight up, making sure my wrist is firm, and then I'm not pulling or flexing it. All right, so I switched legs. I'm a little bit closer to my chair, you can see. And we're gonna go, ready? 10, and then down. Nine, abs in. Eight, don't swing the hips. Seven, six, <laughs> five, abs pulled in. Four, three, two, and one. I'm going to put that down. I'm going to give it a break. I'm going to do 10 alternating lunge backs. Now, if you don't want to do a lunge, you could do 10 half squats. You could do 10 marches. We're going to go. Ready? 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. We're going to head back to our row. All right. My right leg's on. I'm grabbing my band nice and tight. And we're pulling. Ten. Nine, eight, make sure you're breathing. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a second, shake out the shoulders. We're gonna switch legs if you're using your legs to hold it down. And we're gonna go to our Y's next for 10 reps. Ready? And we're going. 10, nine, I lower to my shoulders a little bit further. Eight, seven, control it through. Six, five, four, three, Two, all the way up, 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 and one. Shake out your arms. Again, we're going back to the reverse lunges. You could, we're going to do 10. You could do 10 half squats. You could do 10 marches. Whatever feels and works for you, do it. Ready? We're going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Look straight ahead. 5. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna do a little core work now. A little more.
more forward. So I think if I show you with the chair this way, it would be the best. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take, put my left foot on first. I'm gonna take the band and I'm gonna hold it pretty tight. My foot's on the chair. I'm gonna pull it into my stomach and I'm gonna turn and hold. Three, two, one, and I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna do that 10 times going to the left. So my left leg is on the chair. I pull the band into my stomach right below my chest, and I'm gonna twist. And I'm gonna hold it for about two seconds. Okay, we're ready. If you're standing, you would be just standing, pulling into your chest and twisting. All right, let's go. Pulling, 10, and forward. Pull it in, nine, and forward. Pull it in, eight, work those obliques, seven, Shoulders are down, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Great job, we're gonna go 10 the other way. So I'm gonna switch legs if I'm putting one leg up. All right, so I'm gonna turn this so you can still see me a little bit better. All right, into my stomach, 10. And forward, nine. Really flare that oblique. Eight. Seven. Shoulders are down. Six. Five, if you're seated, I want you just going side to side with the dumbbell. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent. So, next, we're taking that dumbbell side to side. This is what I was saying if you do that we're gonna go side to side so I want you to take a seat you're gonna go 30 reps 15 each side you want a little bit tougher you're going down to the ground if you're on the ground your abs are engaged we're going 30 so two, three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven keep going twelve Pull those abs in, 15, 16, halfway there, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, almost there, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, excellent. Now stand up, we're gonna take the weight, we're gonna hold a squat, from here, and you're gonna press out. Pull it back in. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One more time with the twist. Then we're going to do a little balance and stretch. Let's see it. Again, you can be seated doing the twist, or you can come down to the ground. Got 30 again. Ready, and we're going. One, two, three, four, five. Keep the weight close to your body. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Keep going. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, keep going, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Great job, I'm going to stand back up, and 
and back to that little half squat. And 10 presses, let's see it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Push and pull, three, two, one. Great job. We are done with the dumbbells. We are just gonna do a little balance here. I'm gonna turn into my chair so you have an idea. Certainly, if you wanna hold on to this, you can. Otherwise, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Pull it in. So tap, five, four, three, two, one. Pull it back. If that's too easy for you, I want you going tap and forward. Tap and forward. We're gonna go 10 times each side. So either you're doing the little tap outs or you're gonna do a reach and pull it up. If you have to hold on to the chair, you do that. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna switch to the right leg. So again, you could tap it back for five and then pull it up. You can just stand on one leg or you can do the smooth kick back. Let's see it. Ten. Nine, eight, I'm doing a little tap on the back, seven, six, five, four, almost there, three, two, and one. Great job, guys. We're going to do a little stretch and call it a day. Diana has new times, Tuesday, Thursdays at 11, but we have a full schedule for our members, so please check it out on our website, ryymca.org. I'm going to take our band, and I'm going to shorten it. I'm going to go up, I'm going to pull it out a bit, and I'm going to go side to side. Loose and loose. If any questions you have, please give us a call, email. We're here for you still. Said the door facility may not be open, but we're still here for you. Good. Getting rid of that. I'm going to, if you can comfortably, you're going to take your right leg over your left. And we're hanging down. If you want to, you could do this seated, cross the leg over and hang down. If you want to just keep both legs straight, that's fine too. Three, two, and come up slow. Roll back the shoulders, left leg over the right, and coming down. We're just holding this for 10 seconds. And up nice and slow. Roll back your shoulders. Just gonna do a little twist. If you're seated, you can be certainly put your knees together and twist. I'm gonna do a hamstring stretch. I'm gonna put my right foot up. My toes up nice and tall. I'm gonna turn to my left, soft left knee. Nice big stretch. Stretch my adductors, toes up. Now I'm gonna turn to my right. Stretch out my adductor here. And now I'm gonna go forward. I'm gonna lean in at my hips. Make sure I'm not curling my back down. I wanna lean in the hips really stretch back here. Toe up, toe up. And switch legs. Left leg's up. I'm going to turn to my right first. So my toe is up. I'm turning to my left. Uh, my right. I'm turning to my right first. Oh goodness. I like to stretch out the adductors first because they tend to be the tightest. And now I'm going to look to my left side. Now center and fold forward. Keep my back straight. Really feel it through here. Excellent. 
I'm going to use the wall for my pec stretch. So this is the one where I'm going to turn my hand back. My, my fingers are going to point back. Nice straight arm. My hand is lined up with my shoulder. And then I'm going to turn away. Make sure that hand is right in line with your shoulder if you can comfortably, if not lower. Fingers are out. Good. Turn back and switch. My left hand, my, my fingers are back. It's in line with my shoulder, and I'm going to turn. shoulders five four three two one I'm gonna do a little ankle mobility I'm gonna hold it if you can you're gonna hold it up we're gonna roll that ankle let's go five times one way five times the other and switch really important about letting your body naturally just sit back where it belongs reset itself and I'm gonna point and flex Good. We're going to switch. And so I like to grab above, under and above. If you want to go under or if you can't and you just want to hold it down here, that's fine too. It's just about getting it up so you can isolate the movement in the ankle. So I'm going to go five, four. Work on bigger and bigger circles. Three, two, and one. And we switch. Five, four. Going inwards now. Three, two, and one. And we're going to point and flex. Five, four, three, two, one. Last one. Hands cross on top of your pecs. We're going to do a big inhale and look up. And then exhale, release your hands. So we're going to go inhale, stretch, pulling them down, stretch up on your neck. And exhale, release them. I'm going to switch my hands. Inhale up. And exhale release them shake out your side to side wonderful job guys thank you so much we miss you and we hope to see you soon take care and be well